General Seaweed System Components In order to cultivate seaweed, a simple but well-equipped laboratory is essential. The three most important environmental variables to consider for seaweed culture are seawater, temperature, and light. Successful seaweed culture requires a reliable supply of clean seawater. Natural seawater is preferred over artificial, and salinity should be between 28 to 34 parts per thousand. Seawater can be collected by boat or from a shore-based facility. To obtain clean seawater, collection should occur during periods of dry weather, preferably at high tide and at depths of approximately 3 meters below the surface. Seawater should initially be filtered during collection. This can be accomplished with a sand filter or a number of canister filters. Water storage and transport can be done in large polyethylene tanks or in smaller carboys. Before using, seawater should undergo a second filtration by pumping water through a series of canister filters of decreasing filter size. Once filtered, seawater should be sterilized, especially during culture initiation, because the microscopic and juvenile phases are sensitive to contamination. There are a few different methods available to sterilize seawater. The most effective method of sterilizing seawater is by autoclaving, which ensures sterility through a treatment that applies extreme heat and pressure to the seawater. A filtering system coupled to a UV light may ensure extra treatment of seawater. Enclosed high-energy UV bulbs can be installed as part of the water filtration process. Filter sterilization of liquid uses very fine filtration to exclude all living organisms, effectively sterilizing water without the application of heat. For small volumes, a reusable or disposable filter assembly is set up on a side arm flask and liquid is pulled through the filter using a vacuum pump. This method is used for small volumes of seawater or heat sensitive liquids, such as nutrient media or vitamin solutions. Nutrient media is a concentrated nutrient solution added to seawater for the culture of algae. There are different media preparations for different seaweeds, but all contain essential macronutrients, trace elements, trace metals, chelators, and vitamins. The most common and problematic contaminant in seaweed culture are single-celled microalgae called diatoms. Diatoms can exist as single cells, colonies, or filament. They are able to rapidly proliferate through both asexual and sexual means and tend to smother all available surfaces. They are very likely to be introduced into cultures through natural seawater or on plants collected from the wild. Diatoms can be controlled in cultures with the addition of germanium dioxide a compound that inhibits the formation of the cell wall. Water temperature control is critical for seaweed culture. Culture systems can be controlled individually or placed inside larger temperature controlled rooms or incubators. Algae, like other plants, utilize photosynthetically active radiation, or PAR, the portion of light available for photosynthesis. PAR is the same as the visible spectrum, comprised of a range of wavelengths. The blue and green portions of the spectrum usually penetrate further into the water column because of their higher energy, shorter wavelengths, while the red portion is quickly scattered and absorbed at the surface. Besides chlorophyll, seaweeds contain a number of associated pigments that capture light energy in different portions of the spectrum. In the laboratory, fluorescent light bulbs will provide sufficient light energy for the culture of plants. The type of light available is determined by the phosphor coating inside the bulb, and this is expressed as the color temperature, represented by a number in kelvins. Because seaweeds primarily absorb light in the blue-green portion of the spectrum, high output cool white bulbs are best. General Laboratory some basic equipment to have in a seaweed lab will include a compound microscope, a dissecting scope, a refractometer, a scale, a light meter, a thermometer, forceps, glassware, a lab book, pH meter, stir plate, Bunsen burner, and pipettes. A clean working area is very important for the establishment of clean cultures. 
Some examples of traditional laboratory working areas include the biological safety cabinet and the laminar flow cabinet. A clean working area should be protected from outdoor air currents and working surfaces can be sterilized with alcohol or a bleach solution.